Hey guys, welcome. Welcome, Isaac. It's good to be here. <laughs> All right. Welcome, Arna from India. Hey, everyone. It's Hi, good Delphi. to be here. Welcome from South Africa. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome to Dollar it's Quiz, true. where every correct answer you can win a dollar. Today, we have four yes, questions indeed. about space. We have three general quiz questions and three questions about STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. So you can win up to $12. The first question that I go to Arnav. Arnav. Okay. I would like to choose space quiz. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Space quiz one, right? Yeah. Okay. Question is based on the definition of a planet adopted by International Astronomical Union, IAU, is Pluto A, a planet, B, a dwarf planet, or a small solar system body? Uh, option B, a dwarf planet. A dwarf planet. Is that your final? Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. You got it. Nice. Nice. Good so job. Many... <laughs> Good job, man. Yeah. Yeah. So today, many objects, including Pluto, or the dwarf planet recognized by the IAU. So $1 for you. Okay, Delphi, it's your turn. Indeed. Let's go for it. I will do a general quiz. General quiz. All right. All right. General quiz is going to be name five countries. Uh, Romania. Okay. Uh, Croatia. Germany. Okay. Belgium. Russia. <laughs> Russia. All right. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, Isaac, it's your turn. Let's do a general quiz question. General quiz. Okay. How many minutes are there in a week of seven days? So you can have like 20 seconds on this one. Uh, uh, 10,080. That's your final. Yes. Woo! Nice. All oh, right. I actually got All that right. like in a few well seconds. Done. Well done. How, so how did done. you do it? Well, I, I just have it memorized that there's 168 hours in a week. So I just need 168 times 60. Wow. Okay. Well done. Well that's, done. A good, that's a good way. So you can also have, you, know, you have 60 minutes in an hour. And then so 60 times 24, I mean, you have 24 hours a day. And then seven days, you can do 60 times 24 times seven. But right. it's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, our mouth. <laughs> Okay, I would like to go with the space quiz again. <laughs> space quiz. According to scientists, how long it will take our solar system to complete one orbit around the galactic center? 230 million years, 220, 240, or 250 million years. You can you can have 10 seconds to think about. That's a difficult, difficult one. I read it somewhere. I just don't remember right now. I will go with 230 million years. 230 million, that's A. Yeah, 230 that's, million years, yes. That's a. your final. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you're good. Oh. Nice, nice. Yeah, it, I, I actually used to be in uh, like... Nice, it takes our solar system... Lab. Yeah, it takes our solar system a long oh, wow. to go around, so scientists believe that it will take about 230 million years to complete one orbit around the galactic center. So this, this, this one was a tough one. Super. So, Good job. Yeah, very well done. <laughs> very well done, Anav. I've actually seen like Milky Way as well with my own eyes. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to take a space quiz on this one. I haven't tried one of them. Space so I'll quiz. leave one for you there, Isaac. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Question. Astronomical units, abbreviated AU, are a useful unit of measure in our solar system. One AU is the distance from the sun to our planet Earth, which is about... 150 million kilometers, 250, 100 million, or 300 million kilometers. 200, 250. Number two? Number two. That's yeah. the final? I'll stick with it. Yeah, I'll stick with it. All right. Sorry, that's not correct. So, okay. all right. Isaac. So, on to Isaac then. <laughs> you want to try? Yes. Yes. So, uh, my answer is going to be 150 million km because... Uh, 150 divided by 1.6 is approximately 93.75. And from what I remember reading, I think one AU is about 90 million miles. So that's why I'm that's thinking. That's correct, sir. Oh. That's correct. So oh, one, wow. one yeah, astronomical really unit is about 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers. Uh, this data is uh, based on NASA, solarsystem.nasa.gov. So Isaac, still you. You have the hand. All right. Let's do a general quiz question. Quiz. Okay. 
as of today, how many countries are there in the continent of Africa? Well, it's it's actually a little bit unfair because this question was in the prior video that was linked. I believe it was 55 if we want to go based on the number of member states in the African Union. That's correct. That's correct. All right. All right. So this is good. Thank you. I, I, so I, I'm sure, so now I'm sure you watched the, the previous video. So that this is a bonus for people who watch your video, my video. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. So who's next? It's going to be uh, Armav. It's me. I will go with this gem one. What was the most densely populated country in the world in 2020? I just read that like a week ago. Okay. All right. I so, don't know it. So it's, yeah. it's Monaco. It's Monaco? Yeah. That's correct. That's correct. Wow. So, <laughs> I, I gave my paper on it, so I like I know it. So I have smart okay. people today. Wow. The most densely populated <laughs> yeah, country in, in the world 2020 was Monaco. So this is very surprising because most people will say China, India, which are the most populated, but not the most yeah, densely populated. Um, so right. Monaco is around 40,000 people and compared to China, 1.4 billion. But if you squeeze that into a two square, square kilometers of land compared to China, around 9.7 million yeah, square what, what, kilometers. What, yeah, but what people forget about India and China is that there's these big deserts. Correct. So, for example, the Gobi Correct. Desert near Mongolia and Tibet. And then I don't know the name of the desert in India, but my understanding is that there's this desert. Like it... Yeah, so they, they taught me a lot. But one of the things that they point out was that there's uh, a lot of like unpopulated areas near Punjab province. So basically in the north west part of the country, roughly speaking. So there's some deserts there, too. So okay. that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. They are big. Uh, yeah, as a human being in general, we are not good in uh, statistics. You know, we're very good on, but this one is a population density. You have to divide by the area. So most people get it wrong, but good job. Good job, Arnav. You know what? I need to take another swing at a space quiz. <laughs> I need to redeem myself. Let's go. All right. Let's go. So around the space quiz. Space quiz. Okay. All right. What is the density of the sun's core? Is it 150 gram per cubic centimeter, 100, 120? or 200 this that's our son um yeah it's a tough one but you can think about it i actually know it <laughs> oh man i'm going to go with 100 so b let's yeah 100 no. no it's not gonna be that one it, sorry all right fair fair all right i'm taking Isaac. another swing i i I don't know for sure, but I'm going to uh, go with my gut instinct to think that the sun is very heavy. It's a very big object as compared to other planets. So I'm going to go with D, 200 grams per cubic uh, centimeter. How many? Uh, answer letter D as in delta, 200 grams right. per cubic. 200 gram per cubic centimeter. Um, sorry, wow. that's going to be. <laughs> that's no. not the answer. <laughs> All right, Arma. Look at that. It's, it's, 150, 50, 50. it's 150. 150. <laughs> that's, correct. that's correct. That's correct. That's um, correct. <laughs> So the density of the sun's core is about 150 gram per cubic centimeter. Uh, data from NASA also. <laughs> so um, fair enough. All right. If we, I was not asking the question, I, I will not get that answer. You know, <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> just you know. Um, so who's next? All I can say is that my answer was too dense. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> oh, well done. Good job, Isaac. Well yeah, done. Right. Wow, I guess so, it's Isaac Jones. So who's the who's playing next? Isaac. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's let's do a STEM. Let's do a STEM question. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you know the top most densely populated mm. countries in the world is Monaco, Singapore, Bahrain, Maldives, Malta, Bangladesh, Vatican City, Barbados, Lebanon, Mauritius. I just wanted to show this because there is nowhere here you can, you see China, India, United States, all. You know, I don't know Indonesia, all these big populated countries. Well, the well, well the one so country that yeah, the one country that jumps out at me is Bangladesh because Bangladesh is has correct. a big population. But outside of that, right. a bunch of these places are like uh, you look at they're like islands or uh, micro states. Yeah, That's correct. And, That's yeah. correct. And this yes. is so right. this is so interesting to me. So I wanted really yeah. to ask this question. So next question is gonna be probably related to this. What is the population density of our planet Earth in 2022? And we and I have some hint here with a total population of around 8 billion people and a total surface area, land and sea of 
510 million 64,472 square kilometers. Um, 20 seconds, you can use a calculator. So yeah, in, in using calculator, so it's approximately 15.68. Um, so okay. you could round to 16, I suppose. That's correct, sir. That's correct. Woo! All right. Right. Wow. <laughs> so in 2022, the world population is around 88 billion. You just divide that by the surface area. Now, this is the you know this is the total. If we uh, if you use a calculation just by taking the land area, you know we're gonna take out the waters. If if it's just the land area, then it's gonna go up to how many? 50 people per square kilometer, or 129 uh -huh. per square mile. And this include Antarctica. If we ex if we exclude Antarctica, it's gonna go up to fifty five person per square kilometers. In other world, ninety five percent of the world population is concentrated in just ten percent of the world. I wanted to put this question. I don't know what you guys think because there's a big debate around the world about overpopulation, underpopulation. So my answer. I'm going to let you guys speak, but my answer is population density. Before you tell me if it's over or under, give me what is the population density? <laughs> well, well, I, I, I would just quickly add on the point of uh, urban planning and such, that speaks to the amount of urbanization due to the Industrial Revolution. Correct. Right. So we've shifted from a very agri uh, agrarian, agricultural world right. to a very industrialized, urbanized, where we have millions, like we have 10, 20 million people in certain cities. In North right. America or in Asia, so right. that's very interesting. That wow, ninety five percent on ten percent. That's a crazy ratio. You yeah. see, that's a crazy yeah. ratio. Exactly. That, yeah, it is. So, it so, is. So, well, just look at look, look, just look at sixteen people per square kilometers, right? So what what did we say about Monaco? Monaco is how many? Nineteen thousand, right? Nineteen thousand four hundred and fifty six right. Monacos. So, so how many? You know how many people you can it's... you can have to get to nineteen thousand? You know. <laughs> Right, right, but, but I'll give uh, but uh, I'll give you a parallel example here in Canada, just just to illustrate. Canada is like a microcosm of the world because in Canada, roughly I think it's like seventy to eighty or so percent of Canadians live right. within a couple hundred miles of the U.S. border. Which, right. So, like the vast majority of people are like in the south, right? And then only the minority live in the territories, so like in the tundra areas, like in the territories that are close to the Arctic Circle. So it seems to me that now, especially with climate change, it'll be interesting to see how things shape out as the century progresses. So we'll that, see. That's correct. You like you can multiply these sixteen people five hundred times to get to the population density of Monaco. Wow. Five hundred plus ten. Just okay. just it feels like like you said because we live in cities, but just drive outside your city and look look at the land. You have more. Yeah. People. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. This so is uh, <laughs> this is an interesting question. I. I, I always say, hey, what is the population density? <laughs> but yeah. most women don't think about population density. <laughs> so general quiz, what is Earth's highest mountains above sea level? Oh, I yeah, it, it's it's Everest. Everest, that's correct. Yeah, Mount Everest <laughs> is Very the good. highest mountains and is in the China, China Nepal border. <laughs> eight thousand eight thousand eight hundred forty-nine meters high or twenty-nine thousand thirty-two feet high. You know that there's one side of Mount Everest that no one climbs. Like it's it's actually straight that you cannot climb it. It's not possible to climb there. You will okay. die. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah, many people have died trying to climb there. Um yeah. So next question. How much is four point three dollar per gallon of gas price in dollar per liter? So one liquid US gallon is equivalent to three point seven eight five liters. You can use a calculator. Don't have any. You can use I don't have access to one. Let me just quickly use my. So let yeah, let's say you are in the U.S. You go to a gas station. You see the price is four point mm -hmm. three dollar per gallon. You wanna you wanna see how much is that in dollar per liter? I'll quickly comment that this is a very practical <laughs> question where I live because we're so close to the U.S. border. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, I I have no idea about gallon. No one uses that's gallon in my that's country. That's correct. Outside the US, no one uses it. So one gallon yeah, it's, is it's three point seven kilometer, not even miles. It's yeah. only uh, yeah. One, one like, gallon is a unit of volume. So is one gallon is three point seventy eight liters. So uh, Delph Delphi, you have an answer? Uh yeah. In the moment, it's very incorrect. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Um sorry, that's that's not correct. <laughs> sorry. That's um, bad, sorry. So Isaac. I no, he I, 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 I yeah, I, I know what he did. He multiplied instead of dividing. So that's correct. If you, yeah, so if you uh, go so if you go four thirty divided by the three uh, three point seventy five, you get a dollar thirteen per liter. That's correct. But but uh, but or a dollar fourteen, he rounded. Okay. But no. I was gonna say that um what happens in my region is so like when people buy gas just south of the U.S. border, right. it's like this. We were like calculating gallons versus liters, but then we're right. also calculating the foreign exchange rate and right. the carbon tax. Oh, so, okay. right. But roughly speaking, like most of the time, right. if we drive that half hour across the border, the gas is cheaper on the American side than on the Canadian side, even That's though correct. That's correct. even though we That's produce correct. the gas, it's like... <laughs> We send the gas to America and then right. they sell it to us back cheaper. It's that's it's correct. So weird. That's correct because it's an open market. Yeah. You know, it's so is that there are so many competition between the you know the gas station, so the price is pushing the prices down. One of the reasons, at least. But you're right. Um, most people in the U.S. I'm here, so they complain about gas prices. I always tell them, do you know how much what well, is the gas price in Europe? <laughs> you know, it's like more than like you know ten dollar per liters or fifteen dollars so it's still whatever you know whatever people complain sure. here it's still cheaper than yeah. mo most countries you know isaac you next 247 people yes. will attend a seminar each table can have eight people how many tables are needed so everyone can get a seat 31 wow that's awesome 31 tables so the divide <laughs> 30 table i mean you divide 247 by eight, you will see eight. you will need more than 30 tables because you have seven more people who don't have a place to sit. So yeah, the answer tables. will come like 30.8 something, I guess. Right. So yes. So 31 table, that's correct. Uh, uh, 30.875. <laughs> I mean, don't need to be that precise, okay? <laughs> but I need one table. I cannot divide the table by 0 0.8. I've had my fun. <laughs> I, so, I enjoyed a lot me, and learned a lot. Actually, right, let, 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 me make, let me make the Woo! <laughs> all right. So Isaac, you have six dollars, <laughs> and Arma five dollars, and Delphi one dollars. So I'm gonna give an extra dollar for trying. <laughs> you are gonna get two dollars, Delphi. Oh uh, man, that is right, just guys. too so, too nice of you. Thank so, you. So Isaac, you are the champions. Any comments? Well, uh, all I can say is I try. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> all right, Arnav, any comment? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like amazed with Isaac's knowledge. <laughs> yeah, good space. You know, everything too much. <laughs> Delphi. Yes, uh, Isaac, right. you're, 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 you're the Gandalf to my credo, you know. Thank you, guys, for being here, Isaac. Uh, where people can find you? Ah, uh, well, uh, multiple places. Uh. Uh, you can find me on academia.edu. Okay. Uh, I just, um, I'm, I'm in the middle of pursuing a, a master's degree out of a school in Texas right now. So I'm going to be posting some of my papers there going forward. I just did my first uh, post this past week. Okay. So if you um, look up my full name, I have a Slovak surname. So people sometimes struggle to spell my name, mm -hmm. but if they find me on academia or if they look up the name, they'll find me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm also on Twitch. Uh, I'll stream okay. myself playing Age Empires 2 on occasion. So okay. twitch.tv slash PK clown, all lowercase. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, those those are the two best ways to find me. All right. Great. Great job. All right. Delphi, where people can find you? Uh, I would say I'm not uh, on too many social media platforms, but on Instagram, you can search breath underscore alchemist. And that will be just the space in which I post some of the AI art that I've been fiddling with and uh, otherwise um, that's about it really. I don't use any other socials. All right. Instagram. Nice. Okay. Arma, how about yeah, you? They, they, they can find me on Instagram only. Arnav.06 underscore. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys. Have a great day. See you next time. Awesomeness. Yeah. See you guys around. Bye. 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 All the best. Bye. Bye.